moving towards social democracy, the third important political ideology. And it, it is uh, largely it is uh, uh, influenced by socialism. Okay, uh, the social democracy as a concept is basically a belief in the gradual transition from capitalism towards socialism, but by means of democratic means. Means it is a gradual thing, a gradual change, not as uh, as a sudden change, which the revolution philosophy propagates. All right. Uh, the vision of social democracy. The social democrats, uh, they believe in integrating socialism and democracy. So unlike the Marxist-Leninist social democrats, they support peaceful uh, legal efforts to work towards socialism and they believe in multi type party competition and civil liberties so the proponents of social democracy they view socialism as a part of organizing society so that all groups are guaranteed some level of social well-being and economic security uh, they propose to distribute society's riches among all sectors of the population by enacting public policies very similar to those advocated by modern liberalism. So indeed some social democrats uh, support extensive welfare programs and such programs they contend can promote economic self-determination as just as a democracy promotes uh, political self-determination. Uh, So, uh, social democracy is basically a British approach. Historically, a party of social democracy, the Labour Party of Great Britain, they adopted this philosophy and they moved towards liberalism under the leadership of a centrist uh, Labour leader such as Tony Blair. And this Tony Blair has been... Uh, working as the Prime Minister of uh, United Kingdom for, a four, for four terms. So in fact, the Labour Party's 1997 general election program, they omitted the word socialism altogether, though they follow the socialist philosophy but uh, having a heavy criticism from uh, other Western countries, other democracy practicing and capitalism running countries, they, they, they kept on, uh, you must say, criticizing. So that's why Labour Party, they believe in the social philosophy, but in, during the last elections in 1997, Labour Party, they... Uh, replace this word socialism though this is the same philosophy but the word socialism or the term socialism is no more being used all right now we come towards the Finland social democracy approach the Finland means uh, uh, Finnish Finnish are basically people of uh, Finland uh, this is a, a very beautiful country uh, in uh, uh, north of Europe. So this Finnish social democratic party embraces democracy as well as uh, economic policies designed to improve the social and economic positions of workers. So the per party rejects communism. So the, the, the Finnish demo, social democrats, they, they do not believe in uh, 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 like socialism and communism. So the social democrats of Finland, they reject the concept of communism in form of Marxism or Leninism. Rather, they are in favor of free elections, 
free and independent elections. Whereas in socialist revolution, there is no concept of elections. So it calls for the economic reforms such as the shorter work days, flexible working hours, low interest rates and full employment. All right. The dictates of uh, social democracy. So the social democrats, uh, they take uh, from socialism a commitment to serving the needs of the entire society. They share Marx's uh, dissatisfaction with the inequities in the bourgeoisie proletariat relationship, whereby the bourgeoisie ends up with the profit while the proletariat suffers alienation and makes uh, subsistence wages. So these socialists, they have a vision that can be traced back to the story of the year of the release of debts in the book of uh, Dotony. So property should be redistributed so that it is shared by all according to the proponents of a social democracy. Okay, the next slide. Uh, scholar Frank Ziegler. In America, this was a major name of social democracy in 1912 till 2006, right? Uh, another portrait, yes, this man, Tony Blair. This was the Prime Minister of uh, United Kingdom and uh, he remained in office for four terms, which is very incredible. All right.